Hello friends, welcome again. In this session, we will see another two SQL interview questions from lead code. And these are the problem number 182, which is duplicate emails. That means we want to find the emails which are repeating and problem number 183, which is customers who have never ordered. Let's see this in action. So first we will open this duplicate emails. It comes under easy category. So let me just click on this. Okay. Now what exactly is the problem statement? Let us see. There is a person table with two columns, ID and email, right? Now what exactly we want to find is, what exactly we want to find all the email IDs which are repeating. For example, you can see ID is one, email ID is a at the rate b.com, here c at the rate d.com, a at the rate b.com. So which is the email ID which is repeating in this? a at the rate b.com is the email ID which is repeating. So we want to find out email IDs which are repeating. How do you solve this problem? So let me copy this. Okay, I'll just take this down because we are first solving problem number 182. So this is the input. What exactly is the output we want is this. Okay, so how do we approach this problem? What we can do is we can say select or I, I mean, I will like it here. We can say select. Uh, we want email, right? Select email from person. Select email from, right? From person. But, but directly, how do we find that out? That's the challenge, right? So what we can do is we can say select email, comma, count of email from person, group by person. That means if I write this, what I will get as the answer is a at the rate b dot com, comma, let's say, uh, comma two, and c at the rate d dot com, comma one. This will be the answer that I will get like this. Now, once we get this as, as the answer, what we want is we want to get a at the rate b dot com. That means the count is greater than one. So we can have a outer query where we can say select email from, right? We can have this derived table. We can give this as a name as let's say TMP or TEMP. And this count email, we can give a alias as CNT, let's say. Now what we can, what we want from this temp is, what we want is where temp dot count greater than one, as simple as that. That means we are having this derived table kind of, and we are naming it as temp. And we are seeing inside this, this count should be greater than one. We only want to consider or filter that out. So select email from this thing. And this should give me the result. Let me check that out. I've taken this. Let me put it here. Okay. Let me say run code. Okay, what it does it say? Select email from select email comma count email as CNT from person group by sorry group by email right? We are doing a group by email. Group by email. Yeah, I will just change here. I am doing this grouping on this. Then only we can do a count and aggregate functions, right? So let me just run it now.
okay it accepted let me submit now so that we can see it runs against all test cases or not yes the solution has been accepted so this is one way to achieve this but what is the problem here the problem is is there a way that we do not have to write this uh, i mean kind of two selects one select inside another is there a way that we can do it in a more neater way right and in a more better way is there a way yes we could use the having clause see why we have to write this outer thing just because i mean when we are doing grouping and aggregation we could not use where directly on that aggregated results but having can be used in such cases so we can say select email from select email from person group by email right select email from person group by email having count of email greater than 1 count of email greater than 1 see this looks so neat so clean and this will give us exactly the same result this is the beauty of having that means whatever aggregated results we are getting we can filter on that directly but with where clause that was not possible and i have covered this as part of my basic sql series where i have more than 15 videos you can check that out probably i will provide you a link also in the description where you can refer to this video where i have explained how having works internally but in this session let me not talk about how having works let me just run this now i will say run code it accepted and i will say submit now to see whether it goes through all the test cases or not yes it has worked it says faster than 96 percent good to see but again this result is i mean something that you cannot trust actually so that's how this is and we have seen two solutions to solve this duplicate email problem now let's talk about the other problem which is customers who never order problem number 183 let me go back customers who never order now in this we have two tables customers and orders customers table have all the customer details like joe henry sam max right and orders table contain the details of the orders which anyone has placed but not necessary everyone would have placed order i might have my amazon account for i mean buying few things but i might never have placed the order it's just that i have account kind of so i'm a customer who has never placed the order from amazon an example right so we want to find the customers who have never placed the order as per this you see id is one and customer id so this id do not relate to this id this id in customers table relate to customer id in orders table this has been mentioned in this you can check that out so if you talk about this one it should be this customer id that means joe has placed the order when we talk about two i do not see two here that means henry has never placed the order three is here that means sam has also placed the order four is not here that means max has also not placed the order so which are the two people who have not placed the order henry and max and that's what the answer is so henry and max have never placed a order we want to find this out so i will again take this input right and the output which helps us a lot actually and now we have to write the query what should we do is you definitely know that we have to join these two tables customers and orders which join should we perform basically can't we just do a inner uh, sorry the left outer join right 
where all the records from the left will be definitely present and if there is no match from the right table it will have null on the right side and we can just or we just want the records where there is no match that means where there is null on the right side so we should look for a left outer join and then filter records with null on the right side that means we are trying to get all the records which do not have a match on the from the right table this is what we want so what we can do here is see if we do an inner join we get all the matching records and we do not get anything actually we want to do a left outer join so that we do not lose the details from customers table right if we lose details from customers table then we cannot solve this problem so let's try to write this down so we can say we can say select select a name right name select name uh, from customers select name from customers and let me give it a alias let, let's say c left join left join orders and let me give it a name as o what is the condition on c dot id equal to o dot customer id c dot id this id we are matching here customer id o dot customer id right and now what should i filter based on where o dot sorry where o dot customer id is null this is what we want right that means from the right side if there is no match we will get null that's what we know when we join this two saying that it's a left outer join then definitely on the right side when there is not a match it will have nulls and we want to pick those records right now this name we have given select name but does the output say we want name no it needs customers so select name as customers right this is what we want let me try running it if there is any syntax mistake we can correct that out not a problem as a run code it accepted let me submit and you can see this has worked this has worked fine so here we have used a left outer join and use a filter condition to get the answer is there any other way to solve it or a easier way to solve it yes we could have done that easily by another way what we could do is we can we, we just need to select the names from customers table where the id is not there in customer in the orders table as simple as that that means what i could have done is select name as customers like select name as customers because in the output we need a alias name as customers from customers the table name is customers where id not in where id not in and then we need we know that where the id not in basically orders table right so so let me show you that select name as customers from customers where id not in select select customer id from orders that means when we say select customer id from orders we will have 3 and 1 i'm saying my id should not be from 3 and 1 so 3 and 1 won't be considered only other ids will be considered and we just are printing the name henry and max that's how it will work so this is a more a, a better solution i would say which look very clean and is very logical 
very very logical and easy let me just take this and run this i'll say run code okay and submit fine it has worked right it says 52.99 let me submit it again the result can be totally different many a times 40 percent okay let me submit it again so do not worry about this percentage i don't think it's meaningful 14 percent and result can totally vary next time 96 percent earlier it was saying 14 percent now 96 percent right so you have to understand that this is not a measure to judge your solution ideally right so we have seen two approaches one with the left outer join right this is one approach and another approach is by using the not in clause these are the two things which we have seen so in this session we have talked about two important problems which is finding duplicate emails right for duplicate emails also we have seen two approaches one is using where and having having is something which is very very important to know from an interview perspective and talking about customers who never ordered we talked about again two approaches one with the left outer join and another with not in right so with this we have totally covered two problems in this session before this we have covered five problems so totally with this seven lead code questions we have covered if you have not seen the other ones do check it and if you do not know about having not in and things like that you check my sql series where i have 15 fundamental videos which should be very very handy for you and believe me sql is super important these days a must to know for everyone in it industry right i hope you have liked the session if you re have really liked hit on the like button do subscribe to the channel and i'll be coming up with more such videos in the future thank you all.